Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching Creatively and happy Sunday. Um, today we are going to be doing a requested video, DIY Raiden inspired Easter eggs. Um, and if you guys know me, you already know that I love um, Raiden, Raiden inspired pieces. If you didn't get to see my other video on DIY Raiden inspired Dollar Tree mugs, I can link that below so you can watch that. I really enjoyed that video too. Um, and also, I'll let you know that my decal lady is um, Patsy Potter, and I can link her um, Facebook page below. Just comment if you want to have it, and I can link that down here too. Um, she's on Facebook, and she is so good. I love my decal. She's fast. She's cheap, um, and she knows just what I'm, well, just what I'm wanting. So, <laughs> so I got these little decals from Patsy, and they also have a little sheet in here on how to apply your decal. If you've never done it before. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. My allergies are crazy. And so once I got my decals, I was thinking, okay, my issue now is where to get plain white eggs. And those things are hard to find. But I got lucky. And the other day, me and my friend Alex was at Target. At Target Dollar Spot, my favorite place. And I found these white eggs. They were just $3, guys. And this is what it looks like. Cute for kids, too. They're just called decorating eggs. And they come with these little markers. Um, they come with 12 of them, and I've got 8 decals, so I'll even have some left for Emmett to um, decorate, too. So, 8 bucks, and still have something for him to do with it, too. Um, and I will say, guys, um, if you don't collect, like, white dishes, like, I've always loved white dishes anyways before the Ray Dunn fad. Um, I love white dishes in my home. But if you're not a Ray Dunn collector... And say you have primitive decorations or any, anything, any other decorations um, that Raiden doesn't, you don't, you don't personally like, you know, Raiden mixed with your stuff. Um, my advice to you is you don't have to get white. You know, you're like, oh my gosh, Raiden stuff is usually always white. Um, or unless it's like Halloween or like seasonal. But, I mean, think, this is seasonal. So, you don't have to have a plain white egg. And actually, I had it in my buggy. I almost, I thought that'd be like, what? That ain't right in. I almost got, it's the um, Robin Egg Blue Eggs. They were in packets of four. So, I would have had to got a lot more and they were $3 each. So, I was like, well, we'll just do the white this year. You know, maybe next year I can do the blue mixed with the white. I would love that because obviously, I love the color blue <laughs> in my home. So, maybe next year, I don't know, maybe I'll do that. Um, but, also, if you don't want the blue, they had wooden, wooden eggs. And they were so cute, guys. You could definitely tell they were wooden. And imagine a little, these little words on little wooden eggs, little brown wooden eggs. So, like, say if your home was primitive, you could do the wooden eggs. Those would look just as cute. Or, say you're like me um, and like the blues, tans, whites, creams, whatever. Um, you can get the white and mix all three of them together. The wooden, the white, um, and the blue. And I really wish I would have done that. But that's okay because I didn't want to spend too much money on this project. Because I'll try to remember this is a seasonal project. So every year I'll probably only have these out for like a month and a half. So I didn't want to go too. I try not to go too crazy when it comes to seasonal stuff. Um, as far as the price on them. So these are going to be 8 bucks for everything. You know, the decals were $5 and these were 3 so, it just depends on how fancy or how much money you're wanting to spend. But I do wish that those would have been the bigger cartons of blue and wooden. And I would have probably got those for $3 instead of getting, like, little packs of four. It just wasn't realistic for what I was needing. So, um, so yes. So, we got these. And um, I've already done this. I opened this because, um, one, I already cleaned all these to place my decals on. And, two, you know, a lot of things, kids, that's got markers with it. Is like velvety so I was afraid these would be like a material that my sticker or my decal wouldn't stick to so I went ahead and opened them and they're good and smooth and um, well smooth enough for what we're needing and um, and to clean them you apply alcohol on the area that you want it to be and also here's a little tip too say you're a perfectionist you want all your eggs to be facing the same way remember that when you're cleaning don't just start cleaning randomly remember which area you've cleaned, which area you're going to be doing. Um, and just face it, maybe outward or however you can remember. Um, but if you want them all facing that way, you know, clean that side. But here's a helpful tip. Um, you know, you, I want my stuff to be kind of realistic. I mean, I know you ain't going to go out and see a 
a word on a, an egg, but kind of realistic. And you got to think, like, you know, eggs are not all facing the same way. They're just random. So, like, with mine, I tried to do um, facing different ways. Just was every way I picked up to clean, cleaned it and set it down the correct way. So, I'll know. Um, and that way, they're just kind of everywhere. They're not just perfect. I don't like perfect. I, um, I just throw stuff together, and if I think it's cute, it's cute. It's going to stay. So, let's start. Um, oh, yeah. So, I already, like I said, in the cleaning process. Um, I already cleaned them with alcohol, and then you're going to get warm water and clean that area, too, and let them dry. So, these are dry, and they're ready to be, um, the decals to be on. So, let me get one of my eggs here. Um, and you can definitely tell if you forget which side's clean. You can have a look at it. All right. So, with these guys, remember, um, well, if you've seen my other video, you'll know. But if not, remember that you've got um, the sticky side, the clear side, and you've got the plasticky side. You do not want your word to be on the plasticky side because you want it to be on the clear. So, if I pull it off, as you can see, it's on the clear. Perfect. Lay it to the side. And also, again, saying that I'm not a perfectionist, I want this, my idea is to have this in the middle, but I'm not going to measure it because I'm not perfect. Right done stuff isn't perfect either, and that's what I like about it too. Um, you're just going to put it or measure, however you want to do it, put it on and push it down as hard as you can without popping your egg, of course. But um, push it down with your fingers first. Then I usually push down with my nail. Make sure that each little piece is really on there. And you can tell, guys, by looking at it, if it's on there. So, I'm push down. Push down, push down, push down. All right, let me see what my other one is. All right. So, here is Hop. Very cute. I'm going to peel... Peel off the clear. Very silly, guys. Because if it's still stuck, then all you have to do is put that area back on and just push it back with your fingernail. When I get done, I like to push down again still to make sure that they're, they're getting on there. Hop. Very cute. I'm getting a mess, guys. I got garbage and decals everywhere. All right. I got my egg that's clean. Again, I'm going to peel it off. That one come off good too. All right. Whoop, get, out of the, get out of the picture. My eggs. All right. So, I'm going to put them on where I see fit, where I want to put them. And push, push down. And be careful, guys, because if you push down too hard, these eggs are going to, these are the kind of eggs that's going to bend in. Also, a cute idea would be if you had, like, bright colors in your house, you could do yellow eggs, hot pink eggs, whatever. Yellow would be cute, too. You know, just because you want it to look like a Ray Dunn stuff doesn't mean that it has to be white. Personally, I like the font. Like, I've always loved um, simple fonts like this. So, whenever I've seen these pieces, I'm like, I need that. All right, so like this one is not sticking too good. So this is a perfect example of what to do. Um, see, see that E? It's still stuck on my clear. That is not what I want. So I'm going to push it down just on the E. Push it down hard. Do the rest of these two just in case they're doing the same thing. All right, and there we go. Peep. Alrighty, and then let's see. I've got chirp left because I already did a bunch of these for you guys before. Alright, so we're going to peel it off. So it's like at first you want it on the clear thing, then the second time you don't. So which side is my clean side? This side. Alright, so I'm just going to put it on there and push it down as hard as I can without busting it. These are going to be so cute, guys. So, so cute. And I'll show you guys kind of a tip on how you can display them if you're going to do these. Because you might be thinking, where would I put those? But I'll show you. <clears throat> this is not one to stick either. So, I'm really just 
Push, 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 down. Okay. Perfect. All right. So, let me show you guys the ones I've done so far. So, I've got Easter, Bunny, Spring, Risen, Savior. And like I said, they're all going different ways, guys. I'm just going to show you. That's how I wanted them to be. Show you what they look like. So cute. These are going to be so cute, guys. And then we've got um, Peep and Chirp. So cute, guys. I love them. I hope you guys like them, too. So now that we've got our eggs, um, let me show you. And heck, they're even cute like that. If you wanted to just leave them in the carton and put them somewhere, that's cute, too. Never thought of that. But I was also going to show you how I plan on displaying them. I bought these. Um, I'm like obsessed with these guys. Like I really hate this is just Easter. But I guess it really could be. I mean, it's just a vegetable. So, but still, I got my Easter stuff. But this was at the taller, a taller, Lord have mercy, Target dollar spot as well. But my string keeps wanting to come out. These were three dollars too. So, so, so cute. So I've got those and I've got those to go on display with these two. And this little um, bowl um, is from my granny's garage. And I've got these as fillers at the bottom. Because, you know, if I put my eggs down, I don't want them to be at the very bottom. I want them to kind of be up more. So I've got these to kind of add my first layer. I'm going to put my uh, carrots in here. So see, this is kind of what you got going on right now. And then, guys, you're just going to um, set these down in here. Set them down in here. And I also got some reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree. Y'all know I love the Dollar Tree. Um, just to put around in here too to kind of um, make it look a little more realistic. Even though I know that there's not real bunny or real eggs that's got um, wording in it. But we're just going to pretend like that there are. Okay, I got one more I think. Guys, look at this. I mean, that is just so cute. I love it. I'm glad that Lindsay talked me into doing this. I was very easy to persuade, though. I was like, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> so here's my reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree. See, it's just really green. I love it. I'm just going to put this kind of in between these. Stand up. They're kind of getting everywhere. I like messy projects, guys. I'm a shifty and messy person. I like, I got, I get this stuff everywhere, and I just sweat right before this video. Now, why did I do that? Knowing that here I am, gonna be doing stuff. All right, guys. Here is an example of how I would display my eggs. Cute, cute, cute. So this is gonna be on my um, coffee table in my living room. So, in all this, guys, I spent, you know, I know you guys won't have these exact pieces, but, so, $8 for the eggs, $1 for the reindeer moss at um, Dollar Tree, carrots, $3 from Target Dollar Spot, the fillers are at the bottom. Those are actually from my mom. She picked those up in Tennessee. Um, I think it was called Tuesday Morning, if you're familiar with that store. Um, if you go to Tennessee and Gatlinburg and stuff, it's right beside a Pottery Barn. Oh, we love Pottery Barn. But um, Tuesday morning, I think, is where she got those. So, I just used the smaller ones as the fillers. Um, and then my bowl, like I said, Granny's Garage. So, this is a very cheap and easy little, um, little display. And I love it so, so much. And, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Because, um, you know, I love anything um, modern, uh, like I said, the Ray Dunn look. Um, if you have any ideas, too, of what you would like to see, here's what we have left, of what you would like to see, just let me know, and if I um, can find the stuff for it, we'll make it. So, if you do these, let me know what they look like, because I love these. Love these, love these, love these. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe at the bottom, hit the bell, so that you can know when I do new videos. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.